In this video, we're going to show you how to integrate an existing Rollbar project with Trello. But before we begin, let's make sure we level set on a few assumptions. Number one, we're assuming you have an existing Rollbar project that has been created and that has received some errors. Secondly, we're assuming you also have an existing Trello account that's been integrated with Rollbar. If your Trello account has not been integrated with Rollbar, we're going to walk you through how to do that right away. So the first thing we want to do is jump over to the product. Of course, this is the Rollbar UI, and we have a recent project that we've created that's actually received some errors. So the first thing we're going to do is integrate this project with Trello. So in order to do that, down here at the bottom, we're going to go ahead and select Settings. And now we're going to go ahead and type in the name of our project, which is here. We're going to select our project. And on the left hand side where it says integrations, we're going to go ahead and click on notifications. And then down here, these are available out of the box integrations. We're going to go ahead and select Trello. And as we can see here, our Rollbar account is not connected with our Trello accounts. So we're going to click on connect. It's going to ask us if we want to access the account. We're going to say yes. And we can see now that the Trello integration has been set up. So I can go ahead and click on a test notification if I wanted to do that. And if we scroll down here a little bit, we can see these are some of our rules. Now, these are our out-of-the-box default rules that are set up. This is really the case for all of our out-of-the-box integrations. I'm going to go ahead and click on item reopened. I'm going to edit this. So I wanted to point this out. So this is anything greater than or equal to a level error, right, is going to basically create a Trello card. But I could go down here and I could filter on more things. So I filtered on the environment. I could filter on the level. I could filter on the method, the context. I'm pointing this out because you can get as granular as you want with the rules and only generate items in Trello that are truly important to you. But I'm going to go ahead and select cancel for the sake of our discussion. So let's go back over here to our items. And we'll drill into a particular item. And as you can see now, it says create Trello card. So we're going to do that. And now we're going to view this in Trello. And we can see it has the Rollbar exception message. It has the link, which would take us back to the, this particular item in Rollbar. So this is, this is really great. We can see that we have the basic integration set up. And then, of course, I could unlink to, link to a different Trello card if I want to, or I could unlink from this card. So you might be asking, you know, what is the benefit of, um, of using Trello integration with Rollbar? Well, as you can see here, I can do and manage all of my Trello cards uh, within the context of the Rollbar GUI without having to go back and forth between Trello and Rollbar. So it just makes it much more easier and efficient to, to manage Trello through Rollbar. So hopefully you found this video um, helpful. Please go to our website or reach out if you have any additional questions.